Here we have, whoops, the fail safe. And my last little creation. Now here's the difference with the fail safe. Looks pretty normal, the same. These clips here, those are what hold it open. So <clears throat> if it doesn't expand right, it gets stuck open. If it doesn't cool down because the wax is missing, it won't force it back shut. It'll stay locked in this ultimate position of not shut. So, like I was saying before, right here is a key way. Well, it's basically a breather to help you get the air out of the system. You want to make sure when you put it on, you put that at the top. So when you, you know, try to get the air out of the system, it will, instead of just having to wait until it opens up and all of a sudden you're overheating because you just replaced your thermostat. So let me get it down in there. I don't have to worry about clearing stuff because we did that yesterday. Make sure your gasket and everything is seating properly. <laughs> nice and seated. If you like my music, it's Ale Storm. Not confused with Hail Storm, it's Ale. Like the alcohol. Alright, we got it set up in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Wow. What's that stuff? Didn't notice that before yesterday. Anyways, yesterday, remember I said I had the gunk on here, here, and on there? That ended up being the wax from the thermostat. So, all right, I'm gonna clean this up. We'll get it put on there. So what I did was I used a little bit of sandpaper and the uh, flat driveway to make it pretty much flush. Got rid of the ridges and stuff we had around here. I mean, you don't gotta use sandpaper, but it, it helps. So what I'm gonna go ahead now is put it on there, top bolt first. And then we'll get her tightened down. And this time, instead of saving some coolant, it all got dumped, appropriately disposed of, of course. But we didn't save any coolant this time, so we're gonna add some new coolant. Really, all the coolant is, uh, it does help the water transfer the heat better, but basically coolant is just there to uh, keep it from freezing. So I don't run the thickest coolant in the summer. Sorry, my hand got in the way there. Run the thickest coolant in the summer because I want more water. No, I know, there are rust inhibitors and all other sorts of stuff that they convince you you need in your engine. Eh. I mean, for you, the viewer, if you're having issues and you're not, you know, comfortable working on your vehicle, you know, all the time, like I apparently do, that's just, what I would recommend is use a coolant. I believe it's a, usually a 50-50 or a 75 mix, 75-25 mix. Just follow the instructions on it. So. Okay, got the upper hose connected. I'm just going to do the hose clamps. We're going to stop really quick. If you guys have an 03 Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi, i uh, let you know I use the uh, Moto Rad Failsafe, part number 7416-203 seen here and uh, that's what I used um, the coolant I'm using is pretty much what I have uh, on stock here it's the Prestone universal all makes all models all fancy dancy stuff that's just what I use so like I said recommend using it to what the manufacturer specifications are and uh, yeah so get these tightened down get it fired up be right back okay so we got it running now all the clamps are tightened on there, like these ones, back in their same spots. Got the coolant, water mix. It's already cycled once. I think it's getting ready to cycle again. I got this nifty little tool when I was a mechanic for a long time. But kept all my tools. Never get rid of your tools. So what it does is uh, I have it a little overfilled because I want to make sure we don't have any air pockets in the system. What it'll do is normally at the water levels here, right now it's like here. But uh, what it does is it lets it expand without just spilling it out. You can see my first one, I was on the throttle a little too long. I like to hold it around 2000 RPM and wasn't paying attention. It overflowed. So that'll all blow off. So, all right, let's start a couple more times and we'll go from there. I mean, by expansion. 
up and down. Still got more bubbles in there. Remember, I have the heater on high, full blast. And all the little air out of the system. Didn't have this problem last time because we didn't drain the whole thing. I drained the whole system so I gotta get the air out of it now. That's why it's very important to keep that little tab on the thermostat upright so you can let air blow by and when it opens it lets a lot more air blow by. We're looking good right now. Right there is pretty much where it's uh, staying at. It toggles between that spot and right over the line. But like I was saying the other day, this spot to this spot is your normal operating range. It doesn't mean it's normally there, it just means that that's the areas it can function in. Um, if you're in cold weather, I recommend you let it heat up to at least its first mark before you get going, but some people just crank and go. No problem with that just as a show in your engine life that's all but all right well don't forget to subscribe leave your comments below and uh check out my patreon talk to you later